everyone, Troy here, that's Tom. We're here at Willow Springs Raceway in the desert of California on the uh, 2012 Yamaha R1 and 2011 Aprilia RSV4 APRC. We're here to really test out the traction control systems, which is new on both of these bikes for the respective years. And we really want to see how technology has progressed uh, over the years. Um, just a few years ago, TC was a new thing for motorcycles, and the uh, advancement has really progressed a lot. So we want to see just how much it's, how far it's come. And so um, with that, I'll leave it to Tom and get his impressions. So yeah, I mean, between these two bikes, uh, I think we all probably know that the Aprilia is the more pricier of the two models. Uh, so we're going to also really be looking at uh, is the traction control system on the Aprilia, you know, worthy of its higher price. And then we'll also be pulling together kind of in a consensus as a bike as the whole. Is the Aprilia uh, a better package all around than the Yamaha is, especially for the price difference? So that's the two kind of main things we'll really be toying with today. And uh, by the end of this uh, afternoon, we should be able to bring you a, a pretty good final decision. Well, let's get into more detail about both bikes. Uh, first, the Yamaha. Um, powered by the inline four engine, 1,000 cc's. Uh, the distinguishing factor here is the uh, cross-plane crankshaft engine that borrows technology from his MotoGP bikes. Um, basically, that helps with uh, delivery of power. and. Um, you really do get a good sensation, a good feel between the right hand and the rear tire. You feel like you're super connected to it. It's a really nice feeling. Um, other than that, uh, it's really the same bike we've enjoyed the past couple of years now, only now it has traction control. Um, really huge brakes, six piston calipers. Uh, it's one of the wider bikes in the class, one of the more heavier bikes too. But when you're riding it, it's not that distinguishable. Um, Moving out back, changes for the 2012 model year include uh, a more streamlined shrouding for the exhaust heat shield. You've got adjustable foot pegs. The difference between the uh, 2012 and 2011 model is you've got these uh, headlight LEDs that surround the cowling. Um, the top triple clamp is also more inspired by, by the MotoGP bike. It gives it kind of a cooler race bike look. And uh, really, for 2012, that's the main difference between this bike and the previous model. For the Aprilia, this is a 2011 model, but it's not any different than the 2012. And so this will be a good baseline to judge off of. And this is one of the slimmer motorcycles in the class. It's really narrow, compared, especially compared to the R1. Uh, it's got a V4 engine. Uh, that's why it's a lot more narrow. There's only two cylinders in line, back to back, in a V angle. Um, it's a lot narrower, a lot more compact. Again, you've also got the huge Brembo brakes, rear mounted brakes, really strong uh, brake lever feel. Uh, yeah, the V4 is a lot, that's where the character is of this bike. It's just got this raw guttural sound and feel to it. Um, it also has different power modes, different um, traction control, wheelie control, launch control, power modes, like I said earlier. There's just so much electronics on this Aprilia. In terms of a, a leader class sport bike, it's downright comfy. You know, with the pegs in the low setting, the seat is actually got some cushioning to it. Um, you know, the, the forward lean isn't bad. Uh, and, but the, the power delivery, even in, in full on, the power delivery is so controllable, mm -hmm. especially in some of these tight little canyons we're running where there's debris when, you know, you don't see it, you come around the corner, there's debris, and it's nice. Uh, the Aprilia, I'm not saying it's bad, but it's just, it's a sharper weapon and on the street or on the track, I've just found it takes a little bit more concentration to ride that smoothly. No, I'd agree. I mean, uh, on the track, we were saying how the two bikes are kind of 
polar opposites in terms of their dimensions and how much they weigh and kind of like their riding characteristics and that's just further proven on the street here. I mean, I've been riding the Aprilia now for a little bit and I've been used to it. And then uh, today I hopped back on the Yamaha to you know, do our little rotation and it, it was like I was on a cruiser. I mean, I, I couldn't adapt quickly enough and you just kind of stormed away from me and I was still figuring out, okay, what is um, what am I doing here? And so it's, it's, that, it's not a bad quirk to either bike, it's just they're both so polar opposites of each other which is strange because you're talking about, you know, the same genre, sport bikes. I mean, at the track, you know, we had to adjust our riding style to each bike. You know, the Aprilia really carves a corner really well. It does the same thing here on the street, too. The Yamaha just feels like, you know, a worn glove, something you've had for a long time. Um, they both, to me, do the job of a sport bike super well. I mean, you can go fast on the Yamaha, you can go fast on the Aprilia. Uh, price difference, talking about what a $3,000-ish difference, the Aprilia being more than the Yamaha. And I don't know, it's kind of like, what's your flavor of the month as far as the price goes, right? Yeah.